Welcome to Tech Guru Technology. My name is Imran Khan. In this video, I'll explain next five most common interview questions. Here you can see the next five questions. So let me explain one by one. The first one: How we extract age from date of birth? A frequently asked question. For example, if you see here the in the in the column A, you will see employee ID, and the column B, you will see date of birth. So, how can we find out the day, year, month, and day like this from date of birth? For that, we have a function called dated if. If, if, if I type date and then D, dated, and then if. Okay. And one more thing I'll explain. The parameter pass in this function because you will not get any kind of help. You see here, Excel will not give you any kind of help. Will not provide any kind of help. Okay, what kind of parameter you will pass? So for that, please remember that we need to pass the date of birth first, and then today's date. For that, I am just saying current date. I am just using a function for current date and time. Now for that. It's now, and then comma, and then I'm saying what I'm saying why why for year, okay, and then and saying clicking yes, clicking. So now I'm getting only year, okay. I'm not getting the months. For example, if your age is thirty-two years and few months and few days, so if you want to know. Find out exact age, then we need to write the, this formula again, and then we are doing similar kind of activities like passing date of birth first, and then I am saying, okay, now that means difference from the mm, date of birth to today's date, and then I am saying, okay. Y that means exclude year and then find month. So I'm saying, okay, after calculating year, Y means after calculating year, I need to find out month. So I'm saying Y M, okay. So I'm getting eleven month right right now. So the question is that if I'm getting month, year, both, then how can I get this? So for that, I'm just writing formula, same formula again, and I'm saying, okay, find out the age. So I'm saying I'm passing date of birth first, and then saying now, and I'm now I'm saying ignore month. After calculating month, you should give us the day. So for that, I'm just saying M D. That means Ignore month and then calculate days. So, so now you'll get two days. Okay. So now we can see the day, the uh, date of birth. As per date of birth, we are, we we got year, month, and day. So, so what second question? Frequently asked question is difference between count and count a. Uh, so you know. If I'm saying, if if I'm using the count function for non-numeric data here, so we'll not get count. We'll get zero here, right? So for that, for non-numeric data, we need to use count a. Okay, here if I'm using count a, then I'll get exact count six. And for numeric one, we can you we can use count. So here you'll get the difference between both count and count a. So then the question is that if there are two function count and count if, so where we need to use count and where we need to use count if, I have shown you above that how we use count, and then. Now I'll, I'll explain how we use count if. 
for example, if we need to find out the number of person, the number of people, number of employee who are getting more than 1000 incentive, then it that means the count with the condition, count if, right, it is a combination of count and if, if statement, okay. That means uh, we are we are finding out counts with some of some given condition. So for that, I am saying, okay, count if, and then giving range, comma. Now I am saying greater than one thousand in double quote. So we'll get value like five. There are five person who who are getting incentive more than 1000 okay and now the question is then what is difference between, between count if and count ifs you can see the extra s here so what does it mean the count if means we are counting value and giving condition with the on, on similar column. Here you can see the condition is one only one and that is applicable on the column B only incentive only. For example, I am saying that more than 1000 incentive that means the condition is applicable on incentive column only and if the condition is applicable on multiple columns and we need to find out counts then we will use count ifs let me explain in this example here there are few employees who are doing sales in different locations like noida and delhi right so then at the at the end of the day your manager can ask okay then i need to find out the count the count of locations right with the with, with the particular for, for particular agent or particular employee for example i am saying okay i need to find out the count of uh, imran okay in the in this particular in in this data i need to find out the count of imran for location noida so for that i need to write the function count ifs okay now you can see criteria one range one, criteria range one and then criteria what does it mean criteria range one that means we can we can give multiple criteria with multiple range that means in this range in this particular column we say we are saying that imran because because you can see the, I am just finding out the total count of Imran for particular location NOIDA. So there are two conditions, one for, for this column employee name. So for, for here we are searching out data of Imran, so I am passing Imran and then you can see the criteria 2 for that criteria range 2 and then I am giving second range, it is for criteria like noida so i am giving employee name and then also noida there are two different conditions clicking enter and getting result like two here you can see that with location noida there is one entry here and one more here with imran right so that means there are only two entries with location noida for employee Imran. Okay. So here now we learn that how, how when we use count ifs and when we use count. So this is the major difference between count and count if. And then interviewer can ask one more thing. No. He can ask, okay, tell me the total rows in column in excel in 2016 okay so you know 
uh, and he can also ask how can what kind of function you can use to find out those. So, here I am just using row. and then I am getting particular rows. That, that means, we have more than 10 lakh rows and for column, go to the last column and, and just type column. So, we can use this function anytime, anywhere to find out the particular column, column number and particular rows number. So, we have more than 16,000 rows, sorry columns and more than 10 lakh rows. I hope you like my video. Please subscribe for more video. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much. Please refer to your friend.